Okay, sorry for the terrible audio that was that scream and everything like that, but I am way too excited for this. I'm sorry for any background noise, but I'm recording this outside with my phone and stuff, so it's not gonna have the best of editing. Anyway, wow, this this is huge. My god, this is extra mentally huge. We're seeing Persona 5 in Smash Bros. That is gigantic news. So far, Persona 5 has only had about two spin-off games, being that of Persona the Dancing All Night game, which kind but Persona Q2, which is sent, essentially is a sequel but this time adding the Phantom Thieves to the Persona Q thing. Uh, that also sort of counts as a spin-off. And it is for the Nintendo 3DS, so in a way Persona has been on a Nintendo device and stuff before. But still, the fact that Persona 5 is coming to a fighting game like this, even though there hasn't been any announcements so far relatively for a P5 arena, similar to the Persona 4 arena, where it would be a 2D fighting game, using your Personas and stuff like that, this is really huge news. Because Persona 5 is the most recent installment to come out last year, but hasn't had as many spin-offs. It's had the anime, it's had the sort of Daybreakers Episode Zero movie thing, it, and it has had the dancing and the 3DS spin-off game. But other than that, it hasn't had as many spin-off stuff as much as Persona 4 has, and that was like really milk to dry. Same for how Persona 3 has some spin-offs to it as well. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to see how Joker will play in Smash Bros. And how they're going to implement his persona and his abilities from the Persona 5 game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and comment, subscribe below. See you guys, see you guys, see you guys. Peace out. Watch the vlogs. Enjoy it. If you have to, hit that like, subscribe, and share this channel. Especially if you're new. Peace out.